Julie Morgenstern, when organizing isn't enough, shed your stuff, change your life. Struggling with clutter and stuck in a rut? When organizing isn't enough, shed your stuff, change your life, by Julie Morgenstern provides a roadmap to reinvigorate your life with the transformative shed process. This summary focuses on the four-step process that will help you examine, understand, and eliminate the unnecessary possessions, activities, and habits that weigh you down. Learn how to separate treasures from trash, heave the excess, embrace your true self, and drive into the future with ambition and hope. Discover techniques to overcome bad habits, free up mental and physical space, and embark on a new journey that aligns with your chosen life theme. Transform your life with SHED If you're feeling stuck or in need of change, the transformative SHED process can supercharge your life. Shedding the old and stagnant is key to reaching self-fulfillment and dealing with life transitions. SHED provides a framework for meaningful change in four steps, separating treasures, heaving trash, embracing individuality, and driving into the future with ambition and hope. Shedding is a deliberate process that allows you to get rid of possessions, habits, and activities that burden you. By categorizing everything in your life according to attachment and obsolescence, you can identify what energizes and fulfills you, and what still supports you or drains your vigor. Embracing your unique self-worth and filling your existence with only those possessions, activities, habits, and experiences that reinforce the ambitious theme you have chosen for your new life is the final step. SHED can help anyone who wants a new life course but doesn't know how to start, anyone who recently made a significant life change but feels no different than before, or anyone who is dealing with unanticipated changes. Shedding Old Habits A successful transition to a new life requires careful planning, and the first step is to develop a theme that expresses your highest aspirations. Use three guiding principles to create a lens you can use to view and evaluate your life, take a big picture approach, keep it simple, and aim high. Once you have a workable theme, find the entry points to shed your old ways. The entry points can be rooms full of stuff you don't need, poor habits that get in your way, or activities that consume your time and focus. Shedding will help you free your physical and mental space and revitalize yourself. Start with the easiest point of entry, which is to inventory your belongings and identify the items that detract from your theme. Next, identify the elements of your schedule and to-do list that drain your energy, and eliminate meaningless meetings, time-consuming committees, and old obligations. Finally, focus on bad habits that steal your energy and time and deflect your productivity. They represent adaptive coping mechanisms that once served a useful purpose but are no longer helpful. By getting rid of them, you will free up immense psychic energy and valuable time and no longer feel heavily burdened. Shedding Unnecessary Weight Shedding unnecessary weight can help declutter your physical space, schedule, and bad habits. The book emphasizes starting with the easiest area to find things to shed. It could be physical items, bad habits, or items on your schedule. Determine which areas offer you the best space gain and start there. The book recommends listing all probable points of entry, such as books, furniture, files, tools, and clothing, when shedding physical items. Assign each item an obsolescence percentage and an attachment level to decide which items you can eliminate comfortably. With the items for shedding physical items listed, Begin with those that take up the most significant areas. The same technique can apply when you're addressing to-do items, work activities, and other calendared items. The book highlights that half of the time we spend on needless tasks may not further the achievement of our broad goals. Therefore, we need to write the main points of entry, the size of the habit, and our obsolescence and attachment ratings when dealing with bad habits. Finally, the book compels readers to embark on developing a list of treasure guidelines. These guidelines are similar to preparing a packing list for a long vacation or a shopping list before visiting the supermarket. Developing your list of treasure guidelines, just like shedding, can help free up space and time, leaving you feeling less burdened. The Art of Letting Go 
The key to unburdening yourself lies in letting go of possessions, activities, and habits that weigh you down. By assessing their importance and usefulness, you can eliminate 80% to 90% of them and keep only those that provide energy, purpose, or inspiration. While it may be emotionally easier to let go of physical possessions, it may take more effort to remove them properly. A useful approach is to reflect on the value they bring and consider whether they still align with your new theme. The same goes for scheduled activities and bad habits. Develop guidelines to sort out those that are worth keeping and those that no longer serve you. By understanding their purpose and problems they solve, you can find effective substitutes. Appreciate that your treasures contribute to a complete picture of who you are but aim to let go of any that no longer add meaningful value to your life. Simplify your life. Learn how to declutter and eliminate bad habits to transform your life into a more fulfilling one. Now that you have decluttered and identified what possessions bring you joy, the next step is to get rid of the unnecessary items. Not only will it free up physical space, but it can also create a transformational shift in your life. However, it is important not to drag it out, as it may lead to a new stagnant area. Develop an exit plan for your physical possessions, donate or trash what you don't need. To avoid wasting time on unimportant tasks, delegate what can be done by others or delete them entirely. Breaking bad habits can be the primary time stealers, but it's essential to eliminate them to simplify your life. Establish a 30-day plan to break your bad habits. For example, if you watch too much TV, resolve to not watch any TV for 30 days. If you check your email frequently, set specific periods during the day to check them. Eliminating bad habits is not easy, so if you don't succeed in the first 30 days, don't be too hard on yourself. Try again with a new 30-day plan. Simplifying your life may require ruffling some feathers, but it's worth it. It can be daunting, but it can also be tremendously energizing and fulfilling. By simplifying your life, you can create more space for the things that truly matter. Embrace your freedom. With newfound freedom from physical possessions, activities, and bad habits, it's time to embrace introspection to build your confidence, achieve goals and embark on a new journey. Take it slow, become centered, and find out who you really are and what you want to accomplish. Develop discipline to align with your plans and goals. Embracing change. Welcome to your new life. With a theme already in mind, it's time to explore uncharted territories and try new things. Enjoy this period of self-discovery as you spread your wings and fly. However, removing physical items can be as challenging as the emotional aspect of decluttering. But fear not, the shed process provides a valuable tool to help you stay loose and free on your journey. Focus on activities that excite you, and when setbacks occur, remember that 30% slip is a natural part of the process. Just start shedding again whenever new burdens arise. Embrace change, experiment, and take a trial and error approach to connect with your new theme activities. Your new life is waiting for you, filled with diverse and fascinating opportunities. In conclusion, Julie Morgenstern's Shed Process offers a powerful framework for meaningful change. By systematically separating treasures from trash, heaving the dead weight, embracing your true self, and driving into the future with renewed ambition, you can revitalize your life and achieve a sense of self-fulfillment. The Shed Process equips you with tools to identify and eliminate the clutter in your life, whether it's physical possessions, energy-draining activities, or bad habits. As you establish a clear life theme and master the art of shedding, you'll become more attuned to your authentic self, enabling you to forge a brighter future and live life on your own terms.